training in this manner, especially when you're training strength. Remember, when you're working strength, it's lower volume. So if you're working lower volume, what does that mean? That you actually get less practice of a movement, right? None of y'all stopping me. Don't need to ask. Chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes. Crossing eyes, stopping T's. Lines are blurred, I cannot see. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, look. This is the moment I waited. I took all my options and weighed them. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the Prez here in the garage today, and today's gonna be a lower body day. If you guys watched the previous video I just posted, you guys would have known I took a full week off. I was traveling around the state of Montana. So yesterday was my first workout back in a whole week. It's actually the first time I took a full week of rest in a really long time. So the first workout I did was a full upper body, calisthenic only body weight routine, just to get my body, like I said in the video, acclimated to the movements again and get my body used to working in sync, have all the muscles working together. That's why I didn't do any weight movements and I kept it all body weight. So again, the central nervous system, everything would warm up really well. So today's gonna be a lower body day. And since it's been a whole week off, I'm really gonna focus on squats today. I'm going for 10 total sets of squats. Last video, if you guys watched, when I do legs and chest on the new routine I'm on, I did five sets of four reps at 255 pounds. So today, since we're going to go 10 total sets, I'm going to work up to a heavy weight of around 265, and I'm going to be going for sets of one to two reps at 265 for the majority of the sets. So set one, set two, set three will all be warm-up sets, building up to that 265, and then when I get comfortable, I'll stay at 265 for the remainder of the 10 sets. So 10 total sets of squats, just just to get my, again, the legs and the nervous system back acclimated to the movement, keep it fresh. And the best way to practice something is to do it often. That's why 10 sets, you guys see me do 10 sets of pulls, dips, often. You guys got to get that volume work in. So, like always, guys, I'm going to start with my warm-up just with the bar, my mobility drill. At the same time as this, I got my pops with me. He's going to be doing 10 sets of dips the whole time. So, when I go, he's going to be breaking. When he goes, it's going to be my break in between the sets. And you can see he's going to be on the dip bar. And I'm going to give him a light band. And he's just going to be going for... Three to four reps of dips per set for 10 rounds total. He's really trying to get better at dips. So, set one for me is, this does not count towards the 10 sets. This is just a mobility warm-up set. Dad, get on the dip bar and just hold, locked out. Hold, locked out. Just hold feet straight. Come down. All right, so he was holding locked out isometric body weight support hold. That's going to warm up his entire upper body. Shoulders are going to get warmed up. Chest, core. If his core wasn't working, he'd be swinging. And mom was a specific lower body warm up and working that upper body, the posterior chain, the erectors, keeping that torso upright. So you guys know as the sets go on, like I said, I'm going to increase the weight. This is going to be a total unedited video. So let me get my pops' band. Let's set him up. We're going to give him a run to the car real quick. So the same way I'm warming up, I'm going to have him warm up. So I'm going to start him with the black band for his first set, which is going to be relatively easy for him. It's going to give him a lot more help in these. I'm going to do my bar set first and you'll go there. So, like I said, when I go, you break. When you go, I break. So, set one for me. Set one for me, guys. Again, another warm-up set, but this counts towards the 10 sets.
See you guys, you really got to balance, squeeze. Once I lost engagement right there, I lost my balance. Now going to a quick deep squat. Alright, you guys are gonna see pops set one, just with the black band. Both knees in, right? No, feet in. Oh, Step up first. Step up first. Both feet in. Step back. Point your toes down. Six reps. Easy. One. Lock out. Control it. Two. Three. Control it. Lock out. Four. Don't rush. Five. Six. Good. Come out. Good. Alright, so. That's one set each. Resting now probably no longer than two minutes in between each set. See you guys in set two. Alright guys, warm up set two. We got 185 on the bar. We're just going to go for eight pause reps. Now, Pops is going to do another six reps, but he's going to pause each rep on top and hold on the bottom for one second. Give you guys a better angle. So, come on. Oh, let me set you up. One second. There we go. Hold on. Feet in. Point your toes down. Point your toes down. Oh, control it. One, don't let that band take you. Lock out. Good. Lock out. Don't let that band take you. Come on. Four. Come on. Control it. One more rep. All right, good. All right, guys, about to get into set three. Told you. The reason why we're doing 10 sets is these are movements that you got to get better at. Squatting, dips, pressing. They're strength-based movements, but they're also skills that your body has to get good at. It's always a movement pattern that you can get better and better at. The better you are at the movement, the stronger you're going to be overall and the more weight you're going to be able to push with proper form. So this is the third set, still working up to that 265. So now i got 245s on bar and a 5. So we got 235 total. I'm just going to be going for three reps right now. And now, my pops is going to get in to his first set. Well, this actually is set three, but his, he's going to go into his first working set. He did only two warm-up set. That was my third warm-up set. So we're dropping his band down to red now. And I want to see three clean dips a set from him. With pause on the bottom, and he's going to pause on lockout. So hold on, let me get you into the frame. Set this up. Perfect. Good, get your hands set. Feet in. Everything tight, everything tight. Point down. Lean forward. Let's go. Lock out. Lock out. One. Down. Hold. Hold on the bottom. Two. One more rep. Hold on the bottom. Hold. Up. Perfect set. There we go. So, he's got seven more sets just like that, and that was perfect form. Let's go. Okay. Alright guys, going for set four right now. So I just took 
the fives off. We were at 235, now we're jumping up to 265. So, throwing a 10 on each side, that's going to put me at 245. So we got 245. Another 10, that's 255. And another 10, that's 265. So we got 265 on the bar, and I got seven more sets to go. So it's just set four, so we got set four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten at 265. Just going for one to two reps, depending on how rep one feels, I'll decide if I want to go for two or not. So rep one felt pretty comfortable, so I decided to go for two reps. Felt it was pretty smooth. Still gonna rest about two minutes, and I still got my pops just set right now. So let's go. Three good ones. Come on, let's go. Point your toes tight. Everything tight. Point your toes. Let's go. Down, up, lock out. One, down, up, down, up. Good. There we go, guys. Remember, he's got to learn the movement pattern. He's got to get cleaner reps. That's why 10 sets, very important. Get that volume in. All right, let's get it. Set five, 265, still on the bar. See, I told you, I decided I want to do one or two reps. The two reps of the previous set must have fatigued me a little more than I thought. So one smooth rep, set five, we still got five more sets to go. Remember, training in this manner, especially when you're training strength, remember, when you're working strength, it's lower volume. So if you're working lower volume, what does that mean? That you actually get less practice of a movement, right? The more volume you can put in, the more actual practice you get, right? The more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. The less you do something, not as going to get the, the same results faster. So when you're working at these lower volume sets, it's critical to keep the number of sets high. So what I mean is when you're doing lower volume reps, you got to keep the sets high to account for volume. Let's go, Pops. Hold on. Hold up. Let me set you up. Okay. Keep the bands up a little more. Right there. Hands back there. Let's go. Point your feet down. Everything tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Up. One. Beautiful. Up. Two. Let's go. Up. Three. Perfect. And you're going to notice now, the sets are going to start looking better for my pops because his nervous system is going to start understanding the movement better and better. Maybe towards set 8, 9, and 10, they might drop off again due to fatigue. But typically when you're doing these 10 set routines, sets 4 through like 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, maybe even up to 8, typically be your best sets. Because now your nervous system keeps getting used to the movement and it understands what it's doing and it gets better and better at it. Then fatigue may set in towards the later sets, set 8, set 9, set 10. But again, guys, it's important to push through and keep the form as strict as possible. Let's go, we still got five more to go. All right, set six, 265, still on the bar. Pops is going to go. Hold on. Okay. 
Everything tight, everything tight. Up, lock out. One, down, let's go. Up, lock out, two, one more up. Up, good shit. Let's go, four more rounds. All right, let's go, set seven, 265 still. more rounds that was seven sets done pops is up let's get it come on i'll set you up one sec we get you in come on hold on don't go yet set up let's go Hold, up, one, good, let's go, two, let's go, one more rep, up, lock it out, perfect, let's go, set eight. Up. Come on. Hold on, don't go yet. Let's get it. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Up. One more. Don't let those shoulders drop first. Up. Lock out, lock out, lock out. Hold. Hold. Good. All right, guys, set nine. Let's get it. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Up. Good rep. Good. Let's go. Two more. Up. Clean. One more rep. Come on. Up. Lock out. Perfect. Let's go, guys. One more each. Let's go, guys. Set 10. Last set. Best set. I tried to get a little pause on that last rep. Like I said, 10 sets. I only caught one rep a set beside the first working set, which was set four. So I did set four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 at 265. Set one, two, and three were all warm up sets. Set four, I caught two reps with the 165, with the 265, and then we settled off with one rep for the remaining six sets. My pops got his last set of three. Let's go. Everything 
and tight. Hold on. Let's go. Down. Up. Let's go. Down. Up. Let's go. One more rep. Let's go. Down. Hold that. Hold that. Lock out. Lock out. There we go. Good shit. Alright guys, 10 sets of squats done. Now we're going to get into 3 sets of an accessory movement. This is going to be a body weight accessory movement for me. And my pops is actually going to do more of a compound movement. Again, he's going to actually do 3 sets of dumbbell bench. What I'm going to be doing is one of the hardest body weight leg exercises that you could actually do and learn to progress at, which is a Nordic hamstring cur curl. So, I'm going to set up just like this guys. Remember, this is very, very dominant on the hamstrings. But at the end of each movement, I'm going to stretch my quads out as well. So, I'm going to actually be doing assisted reps because I cannot do these fully yet. So, what you guys want to do, everything in the line. You want to keep your body in the line. And you want to bring your chest to the floor. You want to be able to control it, which I can't do yet. So now I stop myself with my hand. Slight push off. And then I use my hamstrings to bring myself back up. Once I come back here into this position, it's a total stretch in the quadriceps. Really stretch them out after those sets of squats. So now, right back into another rep. Trying to control it as much as I can until I fall. Hands come down. Slight push off, pull from the hamstrings. And again, this is really, really phenomenal for the whole posterior chain, core as well. You guys are gonna feel a really, really deep stretch and intense concentric rep when you're pulling yourself up in this movement. So, if you guys can't control it yet, you don't have to go full range. You guys can just start here, lean forward, pull yourself back. The second you start going forward, your hamstrings get lit up. They get fully engaged, and you control that rep all the way down, as far as you can. Catch, push off, pull, 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 pull. And we can lean all the way back to stretch the quads out. So I think I just caught four reps there. Again, it's a very tough movement. And if I go any more reps, I think I'm going to probably hurt my hamstrings, so I'm going to take two minute break. Two more sets of that, and I'll go for four reps a set. And now my pops are going to jump on the bench, and he's going to do dumbbell bench press. Let's go. Alright, so my pops got 25 pound dumbbells in, and he's going to go for max reps of dumbbell bench press. Let's go. Lay back, head up, chest up. Let's go. Rep. One. Clean. Two. Let's go. Keep as many as, many as you can. Three. Four. Clean. Five, let's go. Six, too easy. Seven, let's go. Eight, I want to see 15, let's go. Nine, let's go. Ten, five more, easy. One, two, good money, let's go. Three, stretch that chest. Four, keep going, keep going. Five, you got 20 in you, let's go. Six, let's go. 17, clean. 18, 19, 20, good, bring him down. Good shit. Alright guys, set two. And I have this yoga mat set up on my knees because again, you're going to be putting a lot of pressure into the floor. So I definitely recommend setting a mat down or maybe wearing sweatpants for this exercise. again on that fourth one I had to re-spot myself up listen go again going through that range of motion is going to be critical get that volume in let's get it all right guys last set set three you're going to try to get a nice clean four reps let's go
Three, come on. One more rep. Up, up, up. Let's go. Alright, guys. That's a wrap for the leg routine. Yesterday, routine, as you saw in the previous video, full upper body, body weight only. Today, lower body training. 10 sets, squats, done, working at that high rep, working at that high intensity range, one rep max range. That's almost 95% intensity. Remember, intensity refers to load. People always get confused saying, oh, this workout's very intense because you're really, your heart, rate's, your heart rate's up and you're moving around from exercise to exercise. That's a different type of intensity. When we're talking about exercise and load, intensity refers to the amount of weight lifted. So when you're working in that one rep, two rep range, the intensity is around that 90, 95% close to your one rep max. So if I was able to hit 265 for seven consecutive sets, I probably could throw on maybe 290 for a one rep max and hit it and then be done for the day. So you guys can see the intensity with 265 for me is rather high. Uh, Pops was doing really well, 10 sets of dips, and then he hit three sets also of dumbbell bench. I only were filmed one set for you. And after my squats, we got into these Nordic hamstring curls. Excellent body weight movement for your legs. Really gonna dominate and destroy your uh, posterior chain, your hamstrings, your glutes, all of that. And it's gonna teach your body how to stay in a line again, like all calisthenic movements, teaching it to work in unison. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try this routine now. Don't neglect on the volume when you're working in that lower uh, rep range. Remember guys, you gotta practice the movement, you gotta practice the skill over and over. That's why the rep, that's why the sets have to stay high. 10 sets. Get it done, get that work in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Peace out. Born Naturals. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, look.